Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. Today we're going to get into Millwork Scanner and what the updates are in version 1.3. Let's get into it. Okay, so first and foremost, the most annoying one that uh, really caused me a lot of grief to get fixed was the importing the room square instead of on an angle. So now when you laser import and you have, I've got a few test ones going here, but you import it, it now imports square in the room. So thankfully that's been resolved and version 1.3 on the room will no longer be angled and it always angles it with wall number one so wall number one will be the first horizontal wall on the bottom of the room all right and let's get into the app itself and show you the other updates so the biggest update for us is we now support several different export formats and you'll notice that when you go to export, it now just has an export button. And when you click that, you get all these different options for different apps that our Millwork Scanner app will export to. So uh, we currently have Mosaic, KCD, Auto Kitchen, Pro Kitchen, Cab Master, and Cabinet Vision is coming within the next two weeks or so. So that'll be all updated very soon with Cabinet Vision included. And we hope that having this broader spectrum of different apps that are able to import will give us the ability to you know, put more effort into the app itself. So we definitely appreciate you guys sticking by and supporting us with this app. We are really impressed with how much it improves our workflow and we think that it'll help you as well. Okay, so now you can actually add photos into your client as well as take photos in your client as well and it attaches right to that specific client. Then you can long click on the image and delete. You can also edit the client as before you could not edit the client after they were saved. Just hit that little edit button in the top right corner. So another th feature is you can actually add a new client and when you're at the client's home, you hit use current address and it'll suggest a few different addresses for you to add to that client. So next, if we hop over to the settings tab, you'll be able to see a enable screen recording toggle. So if you switch that toggle on, you'll be able to record the screen while you're in the customer's home scanning, and it'll always stay attached to that scan. So if you're trying to explain to your designer you know, there was a dishwasher here or whatever, you can just show them the uh, screen record of that specific scan and they'll be able to review that actual footage. So I'll just click in here so I could show you the viewing in action. This one doesn't have it. This one here has it. So if you hit that little play button, uh, you'll be able to view that actual screen record while you're scanning their space. You can also scrub through it, go forwards, backwards. So next we're gonna show you how to actually scan the space and get the best quality result that you can get. Sorry for the audio, it's not the greatest quality. I couldn't get the uh, microphone to work properly here, but let's get into it. As a tip, I've noticed that when you're closing a room, you can see right in this little area right here where you're about to close that space, that's where your least accurate measurement's gonna be because the, we're calculating what this wall actually is. So when you close that, that's your least accurate measurement. So if you want to capture as accurate as possible, make sure you start your wall, if it's a closed room, on a wall that's not really relevant. So I, I would highly recommend that you do that. So for one, if you're scanning a completely bare wall with nothing there, you're gonna to wanna to point closer to the floor so you're getting like two points of reference. You, get, you do wanna get the ceiling height so you maybe have to grab it at some point, but you don't necessarily have to be pointing at it the whole time. You're gonna to wanna to catch just like something with more detail. Anything that's got points of reference for the app to sort of like calculate, 
you're going to want to try to point it at that stuff. You would think that a blank wall would be better, but in actuality, the more sort of textures and different things in a space, the more accurate your scan will be. So, so that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're supporting us with the app, we really appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to making the app as good as it can be. Head over to the App Store if you want to check out the app Millwork Scanner. It'll be in the video description. And thanks for watching. Have a great one. If you're eager to dive deeper into Mosaic, enhance your shop, or explore the possibilities with CNC routers and 3D printing, you're in the right place. Your feedback drives our content, so subscribe to stay updated with the latest tutorials and tips. Watch out for our next video.